G'day guys, Harry here from Mitz Alloy. Behind me is our new demonstrator vehicle at Mitz Alloy, the BT50. Now, we ordered this one late last year, and when it arrived in February, we wasted no time starting the accessorization and fit-out process. Now, the team at Mitz 4x4 Outfitters have actually conducted the bulk of the installation work on this vehicle. They've fitted all the accessories, uh, the bull bar, the lift, the tires, all that sort of thing, um, whereas Mitz Alloy just fitted the train canopy. So this vehicle, you're gonna be seeing a lot of it around the country over the next 12 to 18 months. What I wanna do now is, because we have been getting blasted with questions on our social media, is give you a bit of a step-by-step -step run through of the accessories that have actually been fitted to the vehicle. So if you come around to the front, we've fitted it with a TJM bull bar. Now that bull bar houses the Runva 11 XP winch. Uh, that's a nice lightweight winch with synthetic rope and it actually tucks up quite nicely. You can see the boys here have done quite a neat job fitting the control box down here. Now it's tucked away nicely. You've got a little clip there. Just gives you access underneath to the fair lead. Fitted a set of steady Type-X Pro driving lights. These are phenomenal. Coming into Mount Isa last night, if you've been up here, you know it's a pretty hairy run. And having the visibility at night on those long straight roads for cattle, kangaroos, all that sort of stuff was just unreal. For comms, we've taken care of it with the GME XRS unit fitted in the cab. Uh, we've got the 6.6 .6 dB antenna here. Of course, you can change these whips out depending on the, uh, the type of driving, the location you're in, whether you're in open flat country or in the hilly stuff, you might want to swap it out for a smaller 2.1 dB antenna. There are plans uh, to do clear view uh, next gen mirrors because they do give you extra visibility because we might be doing a bit of towing with this vehicle as well. Uh, also on order, we've got a set of Legend X sliders and a front runner uh, roof rack as well. So that'll give us plenty of extra storage up on top for things like swags or um, anything else we might want to carry, mount like tread pros, max tracks, um, all that sort of stuff. So moving to the back of the vehicle now, before we get into the train canopy stuff, underneath we're running a Lovells three and a half ton GVM upgrade and a seven ton total GCM. Now this kit was done pre-rego, so it's a fairly hefty leaf pack underneath, as well as in the front, you've got all the Lovells gear as well. Now, as you can see, this vehicle is definitely not the lightest on the market. As it sits here, we are around the 3250, fully loaded with myself, my partner, and all of our gear. We've got the swag in the back seat and all of our day-to-day -day camping gear and everything else contained in the canopy. So having that second stage of manufacture stuff done really does give you a bit of peace of mind, knowing that you still remain road legal um, when you're gonna be adding potentially, depending on your use, whether it be the ball weight of a caravan, extra stuff on the roof, like a, like a fairly heavy duty clamshell rooftop tent. Those can add a couple hundred kilos by the time you add all your bedding, your solar panels on top. Now, the train canopy you're looking at is a 1765 dual cab Evo 2 setup. Uh, it's fitted with one of our 1500 mil canopies. That keeps the weight closer to the rear axle by letting the rear wall accessories, like in this case, the two spare tires and the ladder, sit closer to the rear axle and help with that uh, suspension load. So. The more weight you can keep closer to the rear axle, the better drivability you're going to have both on and off road. The fitted options on this tray package, well, they come standard with a few different things. So, obviously, the tray and everything you need to be road legal, so mud flaps, um, the deck itself, window protector. But it's got the 30 litre polyethylene water tank at the front with a tap outlet just here, fresh drinking water. We've got our diesel fuel filler here as well. That's standard relocation when we take the tubs off on these vehicles. Flared mud guards. At the back here, we've got our pair of red tapered under tray toolboxes. We use these for things like storing recovery gear, um, things you might not want to contaminate the canopy with, whether it be tools, that sort of stuff. Around the back, because this does have an optional 60 litre under tray tank, we do have a shorter 800 mil drawer with the drop in lid. But in there, you can see we've just got basic tools, spare parts, that sort of stuff. Now that drawer sits within its own case as well, so it's a fully dust and waterproof unit. On the back wall of the canopy, we've got twin spare wheels, because we will be doing some remote trips with this later in the year. You do want that little bit of you know, self-insurance. You know you've got two spares, it's a little bit more peace of mind. Now, while we're on the subject of tyres, uh, we have gone to a slightly larger tyre size. These are about a 32 inch tire fitted to a, a D-hole dynamic steel rim. Down the back here, mounted off the back of the toolboxes, is our uh, 3D printed sensor housing that relocates all the radar systems in the back of the BT50s and the D-Maxes. Now, a lot of the new vehicles that are coming out uh, on the market today 
do have these as a requirement. Now, fitting these isn't a problem for us. We've got the solution down pat, as well as all of your uh, 3D printed sensor housings for the factory parking sensors. And underneath here, you can see we've got the same thing for the factory reverse camera. So you can retain all the factory functions when you do a relocation with us. So the finish on this tray and canopy is what we call our ebony black powder coat. Now we've done the tray and the canopy frame and all the accessories in that ebony black. It's a slightly textured finish, which is super durable against scratches, especially if you're going to be using your vehicle you know, in true touring situations. Now, to tie it all in with the, the red on this BT, what we've done is we've two-packed colour match the canopy doors and the toolbox doors. Ties it in quite nicely, gives it a bit more of a you know, finished aesthetic. Inside the canopy, this one is a dog box canopy. So you can see the back wall there that separates the driver's side from the passenger side. Now, the passenger side here is definitely like our living side of the canopy. It's been fitted with our 85 litre upright uh, Bushman's fridge cage to house the, the fridge itself. And we've got our single drawer and table unit next to that. So, you might have noticed single-handed operation there for the drawer. And then a table that pulls out underneath for all your prep space. It's quite handy. Now, these are quite deep drawers. You can fit things like gas canisters and sauce bottles inside without having them fall over sunscreen we've all been there now up on top uh, we've got a return fold around the top of the drawer to prevent things from falling over the back which is especially important if you do have a canopy that doesn't have a dog box in it now that stops uh you know whether it be space cases or anything like that going for an adventure over the other side if you're going over some rough terrain now this space here currently houses our, our gas cooker because um, the power system we've got in here isn't recommended for running induction, but this same space here, if you stick around and, and watch our socials over the next couple of months, we'll um, actually be putting through our, um, our pantry design, which will fill that gap quite nicely. Up the front, speaking of power supply, we're running the Enerdrive RV80 system. Now that system uh, runs a 125 amp VTEC battery. So not quite enough to run induction cookers, uh, but plenty enough power to run laptops or drones or charging up you know banks of uh, tool batteries things like that comes with a 40 amp ac and dc charger as well as a 180 watt and a drive solar panel on the roof now we've actually run our little power board up to the side here and run it into the inverter which is mounted up nicely there on the back wall uh, so that you can access it quite easily and you've also got a remote switch here to turn it on now we've got a light switch here up to the top so you can see we're running the hardcore tri-color strip lights and they're mounted onto the lock protection surrounds here that give the central locking locks, so that's an option we fitted to this canopy, uh, some protection, as well as, because we are running a flush floor design, keep any items that might fall back onto the locks. Uh, it prevents them from actually jamming the actuator of the lock. So quite a bit of thought's gone into the Evo 2 design, and if you haven't seen it up close, um, I definitely recommend coming to check us out at the show circuit over the next 12 months. We've got a very heavy presence there. And we've also um, you've got an ever-expanding dealer network too with display models. So if you do live in a major metro area or regional area, chances are you'll be able to go and see one of these at a location. Before we finish up the video, I want to show you around the other side, which like I said before, this is a dog box style canopy. So this side, you can see it's got the vent up the top there. So removable, four bolts. But inside here, because we're not running a dog on this trip, we're not taking our four-legged friend. We're just using it for extra diesel storage. Now, we do have a long range tank on order that's gonna get in in part two of this build when we get home. Um, but other than that, the divider's just being used to separate a little bit of our extra food storage here. Um, so quite a versatile arrangement. You don't necessarily have to use it for a dog. You can use it for whether it be chainsaws or any other heavy equipment that you don't want to contaminate the other side with fuel or you know smells, that sort of thing. Now, last but not least, we do have a roof rack up on top. Now you can see up there we've got awning brackets and a solar panel mounted. We're running the Darchi 270 awning on this setup and that Enerdrive 180 watt solar panel sits up there quite nicely. So that pretty much wraps it up uh, for this BT50 walk around guys. Um, if you do have any questions, please feel free to let us know down in the comments below. But other than that, we will do a, a little bit of an update when we install the front runner roof rack, the Brown Davis long range tank, the Clearview next gen mirrors and Legend X sliders, as well as a couple of other things we're working on. But if you are looking to do a vehicle build like this, uh, you can do it through the team at MIT's 4x4 Outfitters now. They're a sister company with MIT's Alloy. They operate out of the same location in Newcastle and they handle the fitting of all of your other accessories, whether it be 
long range tanks, tyres, pretty much everything I've already run through on this vehicle, they can facilitate for you at the same time. So for more information on whether it be a train, canopy, 12 volt packages, fitting of any other accessories, you can head to mitsalloy.com.au or mits4x4.com.au or alternatively, give the team a call on 0249 676817 and they'll be more than happy to help you with pricing, availability and quotations. Thanks guys.